So let's proceed. Let me share my screen. Let's proceed. Let's have our opening prayer. Online class opening prayer. Online class opening prayer. Let us put, Let us put ourselves, ourselves in the, in the holy presence, presence of our Lord. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify, we praise your, holy and glorify your holy name. We thank you, we thank for, you all for all the blessings, all the blessings you have bestowed, have bestowed upon us. Thank you for providing our needs and for giving us the chance to continue our studies. Bless our teachers who inspire us and guide us. Bless our parents who work and support us. Bless and our bless classmates. our classmates and friends okay, who care us. for us. We are humbly asking, asking, asking for your guidance as we begin our online class today. Send us, Send your, us your Holy Spirit, Spirit so we may understand, understand and achieve the objectives of our lessons. Help us to listen attentively to our teachers so we may accept the knowledge imparted to us. Give us the energy and strength to participate in today's online class. Help us to be, more, us focused to be more focused so we may complete the activities and tasks for, for today. Fill our Fill hearts, our with, hearts joy, with joy, our minds with, our minds with learning, and our, and our class with peace. We ask we all of this through Christ our through Lord. Christ our Lord who lives and reigns forever, forever and, and ever. Amen. So all together, please read the quotation for, for this morning. If you are not willing to learn, learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. No one can stop you. Sabi dito, if you are not willing to to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to to learn, no one can stop you. Dito ko. Let me repeat. So, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. So, why do, what do I mean by that? Uh, Amo. Sir, kung willing ka daw pong matuto, kung hindi ka willing na matuto, walang tutulong sa'yo. Pero kung determinado kang matuto, Walang, walang pipigil sa'yo. So, yan. Yeah. So, uh, learning is a process. Yung tinatawag na learning is a continuous 
process in Tratao Latin education. It is a privilege, but we must think, we must not think for granted yung tinatawag natin privilegio sa atin. Kailangan natin i-embrace ang changes, uh, most especially in, in the midst of pandemic or in this time of pandemic. So we are experiencing different kinds of difficulties sa ating learning, sa ating distant learning. So, motivate, dapat motivated na lang tayo. If, if we are willing to, to learn, if we are willing to continue this, uh, uh, this processes, this education, this whole processes, so we must be determined enough to continue and no one uh, will stop us learning. So welcome to our class this morning sa ating unang component ng ating mapinay, ng ating music. Yan. The world ay full of surprises. Umiikot po ng puno ng uh, mga bagay na hindi natin inaasang nangyayari sa Pilipinas. So ang topic po natin ay music of the classical period, the 1750 to 18. 20. So, yeah. So, sabi dito, this module was written for you to explore and discover the musical elements of music. At the end of these lessons, so you are all expected to be able to recognize musical elements of the given classical music and show appreciation of classical music through Learnings. So, yan yan. Nakalagay din dyan. Yan pong ating objective for this morning. So, isa po muna yung isa para parinig ko yung iba. Narinig ko ito. Opo. Opo. Iba hindi na Naririnig po. Buti naman. Yeah, naririnig ako. So let's proceed our class. So we have may puzzle tayo dito. Oh my god. Balik tayo. So nakikita nyo, pakibasa nga po na ng instruction bahoy. Sir, may nakatakip po. Sir, may, natake, may nakatakip po na black. Pinbox ako lang po yung word ko. And so describe musical elements of given classical period pieces. Yeah, nakita niya na. Wala pa. Sige, sasabihin na lang natin dito. Pwede. Ano pa Sir, lalo lumalala yung black. <laughs> Dadagdagan. Okay. So we're going Mapo, to look sir. for the five words, the musical elements. We're going to look for the five musical elements dito sa ating puzzle. So, so search for the five musical elements from the word puzzle below. Write a short definition or description about the elements. So do this activity on your notebook. So you're going to send to me yung five, yung inyong sagot dito sa ating sa messenger. Kaya binuksan ko yung isang account ko para makita ko kung sino na ang nag-send ng sagot. I'm going to give Sir, you five, five minutes to answer Sir, this. kanina ko pa po nasagutan yan pero naka soft copy po. Ililipat ko na lang po or i-screenshot ko at isesend. Screenshot nyo na lang, isend nyo na lang Sige sa po. messenger ngayon na. Sir, pati yung ano po, this description po. 
Pwede mag-off ng camera habang na screenshot nyo, nakamonitor po ako sa ating messenger. In sir, patay po in the description. Sir. Ano po yun? Patay po yung description po, sesend po din sa inyo. Oo, oh, yung description. Sige po. Kailangan nyo. Okay na. Who wants to share their answer? Dahil nakapagsagot na kayo halik kanina. Stop ko ang sharing ha. Siya naman yung magsishare ng ano. O, oh, sino ang gusto mag-share? Yung naka-screenshot. Si share ang screen. Stephanie Drew. Sir, ako na po. Okay. Allowing you to share the screen. So you can now share your screen. Marunong ka mag-share ng screen? Apo. Okay. Sir, naka-disable po yung screen sharing. Naka-disable? O yan na, naka-multiple na siya. Okay na, Stephanie? Yan. Stephanie Drew Binoy has started screen sharing. Ito po yung five words na related sa classical music na nakita ko doon sa activity. Zoom Ang first word po... Wait lang po. First word ko pong nakita itong melody. Nung hinanap ko po yung definition niya, foreground to the backing elements and is a combination of pitch and rhythm. And number two po, meter, yung nasa pinakataas po nun. Pangalawa ko po siya nakita pero sunod. Una ko po siya nakita pero sunod ko po yung sinulat dito. Regularly recurring patterns and accents such as bars and beats. Pangatlo po ay yung tempo, the speed at which a piece of music is played. Pang-apat, texture, often described in regard to the density or thickness and range of width between lowest and the highest pitches, dynamics, variation in loudness between notes or phrases. Congratulations. Stop share ko na po, sir. Okay na. Stop sharing So, lahat ba ay tama? May ibang sagot pa? Sir, yung definition ko lang po sa method. Daniel? Sir, a sequence of single notes that is musically satisfying. Ulit? Sir, yung definition ko po sa melody ay a sequence of single notes that is musically satisfying po. Ano yun? Anong word? <laughs> melody po. Ah, okay. So, isa din lang naman niya. Sino naman ang gusto mag-share? Wala na? Oh, let's proceed. Sino, lahat ba'y nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Dalawa lang po nahanap okay, po yung melody at yan. texture. <laughs> oh, let's proceed.
So we have here another instruction sa susunod na ating activities. Ito ay optional para sa mga modular. At sa so, inyo naman ay campaign nyo naman ito. So you're going to look for the uh, this uh, URL yung tinatawag natin na URL. So yung link, yung QR code. So pinasa ko na ito kagabi. So ahead of time, uh, I gave you and I sent this uh, QR code to all of you, to our IGC, in order for you to able uh, to be able to to make an advanced research about this uh, topic, certain topic. So our activity for this uh, task. Yeah. So we have guide questions. Nakalagay dito yung ating number one guide question. What is tempo? According to your advanced research. Ngayong magabi. Di ba apat na musika yon? Tama po ba Ezekiel? Nawala na si Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Nasa loob pa ba si Ezekiel? Ang dami si Amdan. Pahinig pa ako? Apa. Apa. O, oh, Andal. Nandiyan ka sa loob pa. Ah. Tama ba ang sabi ni Sir? Sir? Di ba may, may apat na musika, apat na QR code? O kaya yung link, tapos isa-search nyo Alin sa, Google, eh, ah, sa YouTube. Tapos pakikinggan nyo yun. So you're going to define those uh, four music, oh, musical uh, piece or pieces, musical pieces. Kung ano ang tanong sa number one sa guide questions natin, number one is, what is tempo? So, balikan po natin itong ating QR code. Sabi dito ay, no, sir, piano, sonata number 16, C, major, K, 545, barren boy. Yan. Yan yung letter A. Letter B, Ludwig van Beethoven, yung piano concerto number 5, yung E flat major. Of 73 Emperor. Yung letter C, Mozart. Symphony number 14, G minor, K550. Complete. And letter D, excerpt from Mozart, the magic flute. So, ang tanong dito ay, what is tempo ng apat na yun? May sagot na? Wala pa po. What I have seen or used? What is Sir, wala pa po sagot. Describe the melody. Is this music familiar to you? Where did you first hear me? So, I'm going to call names. Ang sasagot, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, JP. Sir. Oh, may sagot ka na doon? Wala pa po. Ayan. Amo. Sir. Sheila Amo. Sir, ang tempo po ay, ay andante. Oh, share your screen. Show Sir, ano screen. lang? Sa number. Sir, nakasulat lang tempo. po. Amo. Sir. Po. May sagot ka na? Opo, pero nakasulat sa number one lang po. Oo, okay lang yun. Number one lang. Sir, number Sir, two po. Sasabihin ako. ko na lang po. Hindi ba pwede mong i-screenshot tapos i-share mo na lang ng screen? 
So, yung nakaguri-guri-guri po. Mag-ready na yung iba, ha? Sino ang nakaready sa number one? Ezekiel. Sir, letter B lang po. Yung nakaready ko. Yung nga binigay ko na kagabi. Sino na? Ati L. Sir, wala pa po akong sagot ko. Siya, balik tayo kay Amo. Sir, sa A lang po. Sa A. Sir, okay, pwede pong sabihin sir. na lang. Ah, wala, A, wala pang A to D? Wala pa po. A pa lang po. Hindi nyo pa yung nasasagot ang lahat. Hindi pa po. Hindi pa po. Hindi pa po, sir. Tapos na doon. Hindi pa po. Hindi pa po. Oh, sa letter A. Ano ang A? Share your screen. Manda sa T. Sa T. O, oh, amo. Hindi kayo ready. Binigay ko na kagabi yan. O, nasa na si Amo? Sir, nandito po. Bakit nakaupat yung camera mo? Ay, sorry po. O, sa letter A, what is your answer? Sir, andante, greso, grezo, grezioso po. The tempo? O, ulit. Andante, grazioso, alegro, and presto. O, oh, anong ibig sabihin? Sorry. Sa letter D. Sir, mabilis. Wants to answer, mabilis daw. According to Amo. Arsino, sa letter D. Sir, wala pa po akong sagot. Sir, ako na lang. Sino yun? Sige. Sa letter B po. Uh, Sir Adag yung molto po. Sino ang sino sa sagot? Sino sa sagot sa letter B? Si Andal po. O, Andal Sir ako po si Andal po. Adag yung molto or very slow po. Very slow. Yung sa letter C. Sino na may sagot sa letter C? Ayan. Sir. O, sagotan nyo muna. Bibigyan ko kayo yung sampok minuto. Tapos natawag ako.
morning everyone, I'm Russell Kentara Senior and I'm going to present my answer on learning task 2 on music. So the first one is the tempo of different music composition in classical period. The first one, the letter A, the tempo range overlap a lot. Adagio with 31 to 95 BPM. Letter B, it played at a tempo of 134 BPM. Letter C, molto allegro or very fast 4x4 time signature. B. Played with a tempo of 137 BPM. The second one is the dy dy dynamic. Letter A. Fast but coming in ears. Letter B. Fast. Letter C. Very fast but good, good to hear. Letter B. Fast. And the third one is texture. Letter A. Completely homophonic. Letter B. A faster rondo. Letter C. Homophonic texture. B, with the melody line being accompanied by homophonic texture. The fourth one, which is the last one, is the melody. Letter A, piano sonata number 6 includes two contrasting melodies in the composition. Letter B, the fourth in the final movement in the epic conclusion of Beethoven's fifth symphony, the last movement is in major of sonata form. Letter C, mainly melody dominated homophonic use throughout. First and second violins play in octave at first, also placed in with reason. The third opens with an instrumental overture, of the approximately five to seven minutes overture that uh, that you will hear is an arrangement of Mozart's symphonic E major overture. Let's proceed to the reflection. Three things I found out on the topic. Number one, I found out how tempo, dynamics, texture, melody are different from each other. Number two, I found out of some of music composition of classical period music compositors. Number three, I found out how song of music of Beethoven different from other compositors. Two interesting things I found out. Number one, the music composition of compositors in classical period. Number two, how instrumental played in different music. One question I still have, how their music related to their lives. Thank you and that's all. This is my answer in guide question. What is tempo? A. Andante. B. Andagio. C. Allegro. D. Andante. What dynamics were used? The piano sonata number 16 in C major K545 by Wolfgang Marius Mozart was described by Mozart in his own dramatic cat catalog as for beginner. B. The piano concerto number 5 in E major OP seventhly known as the Emperor Concerto in English speaking countries is a concerto composed by Luigi van Beethoven for piano. C. Symphony number 40 in G minor K550 was written by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in 1788. D. Excerpt from Mozart movement range from piano to forte with some forte piano and is for Zando. What is the texture? A. Completely homo homophonic. B. A faster rando. C. Homophonic texture. D. With the melody line being a com homophonic texture. Describe the melody. And then A. Andante. Moderately slow. B. Andagio. Very slow tempo. C. Allegro. Fast. D. Andante. Moderately slow. This is my answer in reflection. Three things I found out. That music of the classical period also called Age of Reason. Number two, that instrumental music was patronized primarily by the nobility. Three, that 750 on artist, musician, and architect wanted to get away from the complexity of the Baroque period. Two interesting things. The classical period was an era of classical music. Number two, the classical period falls between the Baroque and the Romantic period. Sampai <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Kalau mau beli biji yang siang yang, masuk ke tempat. Oh, tidak apa-apa. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Esika Larandal, and I'm here to explain my answer in Music Nine, Music of the Classical Period. The Piano Sonata Number no. 16 in C Major K545 by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was described by Mozart in his own thematic catalog as for beginners. The tempo of Sonata Number no. 16 is Adagio and Allegro. The dynamics is mezzo piano and forte. The texture is homophonic and the melody is conjunct ascending. Emperor Concerto by Ludwig van Beethoven is known for its grandeur, bold melodies, and heroic spirits. The tempo of Emperor Concerto is allegro and largo, the dynamics is pianissimo and fortissimo, the texture is homophonic, the melody is conjunct ascending. The Symphony No. 40 in G minor K550 was written by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in 1788. It is sometimes referred to as the Great G minor Symphony. The tempo of Symphony No. 40 in G minor K550 is molto allegro or very fast. The dynamic is piano or soft. The texture is mostly homophonic. The melody is conjunct ascending. The Magic Flute is an opera in two acts by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart to a German libretto Emanuel Schikaneder. The tempo of the Magic Flute is Adagio ad Dante, the dynamics is mezzo forte, the texture is homophonic, and the melody is disjunct ascending.
Ayun na ulit sa gabi ah. Paano pala mga magbibidyo yung siyan yan? Masakit ang paa o. Hello, I'm Stephanie Drubinoya and these are my answers for guide question in learning task in MAPE. The first question is, what is tempo? A. Allegro andante vivace. B. Allegro and largo. C. Allegro and adagio. D. Vivace. Number two, what dynamics were used? A. Forte and piano. B. Fortissimo, mezzo forte and piano. C. Mezzo forte and crescendo. D. Forte. Third question is, what is the texture? A. Monophonic. B. Heterophony. C. Heterophony. And B. Polyphony. Fourth question is describe the melody. Conjunct ascending because there were no lips, the short distance between notes. Letter B. Conjunct and disjunct ascending because there are parts with just short skips and parts with long pause or lips. Letter C. Conjunct and disjunct ascending. Because there are parts with just short skips and parts with long pause or lips. Just the same with my answer in letter B. Letter D, conjunct ascending because there were no lips, just short distance between notes. Question number 5. Is this music familiar to you? Where did you first hear it? The last question is, is this music familiar to you and where did you first hear it? Letter A, my answer is yes. The opening reminds me of a Saturday morning cartoon show that I used to watch when I was a kid. Letter B, no. Letter C, also not familiar. Letter D, yes, I was watching YouTube and it was recommended so I watched it because I thought it was similar to the Magic Flute Queen of the Night by Mozart. These are my answers for my reflections. Three things I found out. First, even a one piece of music contains different types of each of the elements in music. Second, classical musics like those may be old but they are good to listen and must be appreciated more in this generation. Third and last, each element in music have a lot of types and they have big differences. Two interesting things, the history of the writing process of those musical pieces. Second, what they would sound and look like if they are played live. One question I still have, does anyone still make those kind of music? I am Ryan Caballero and this is my answer in learning tasks. In Mape. The tempo of Sonata is Allergo, Adante, Rondo. Dynamics, so the texture, completely homophonic. Melody, as the classification of Sonata, the concept of this music is for agonizing movement in which prosperously achieve musical composition. The melody is full of rhythmic composure that give frame to the term of Sonata. Letter B, the tempo of Beethoven is very slow. The dynamic is loud. Texture. Contrapuntal texture. 
melody. From the derivative of musical composition, the melody concerta is full of expedition of movement. As I listen truly, the melodic structure is composed of certain movements which immaculately express the real purpose of concerta. Letter C. The tempo of Mozart is molto allegro. The dynamic is slow. The texture is mostly homophonic. The melody. As I listen to this music, I can allocate the term and have them compared, which is result that they are symphony because of the movement that implies the characteristic of symphony. Letter C. The tempo is allergo. Dynamic, loud. Texture. Melody dominated homophony. Melody. In this scenario, the music is full of an element in term of melodic structure. Aside from musical composition, the frame of genre is full scenery which build up an act of theater. Opera has the melody sequence that creates action which is prosperously activated and well presented in the links provided. I am Ryan Caballero and this is my reflection. Three things I found out. I found out how entertaining classical music are. I found out the different instruments that complete a music like dynamic, tempo, and melody. I found out the hidden beauty that lies beneath music. Two interesting things. The way the song are played are so interesting. The beat and the song itself is so wonderful and unique it makes me so interested to it. One question I still have. I wonder what would happen to the music industry if those classical music doesn't exist. Number one. Tempo. The tempo range overlap a lot, a JDO, 31 and 95 BPM. It's number B. It's played a tempo a lot, 31 B, B, BPM. Letter C. Moito Allegro. It's mean very fast, four, 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 ta four times signature. Letter D. Played with a tempo, 31 B, BPM. Number 2. MF Mezzo Forte. It means medium loud and piano. So, so. Letter B. F Forte. It means Forte. Hey, F Forte. It means loud. MF Mezzo Piano. It means soft loud. Letter C. MF Mezzo Forte. Medium loud. MF Mezzo Piano. Medium soft. Letter D. F Forte. Forte. Loud, MP, Mitsu, Piano, Medium, So. Number 4, Letter A. The Sonata, first movement is a Dante Grisizo, is a dim and a, a, a direct venation, eh, venation, and the second min minueto is a minuet, minuet. At my, wait, at my, two from Crust. Contrasting melody in the explosion. Explosion. Letter B. The second melody or transitional dim and forceful played in the fortissimo and and is also brought in by the horns. Letter C. The first movement sonatas more Mozart begins in the media, rest dropping the listener into the quick motion of the lower string and to turbid melody in the in violent octaves. Letter letter D. The the magic flute. Open with a instrument over tune and the approximately five and five minute over tune arrangement of Mozart sym symphonic symphonic the major over two and play by a wind a wind a lot a lot of obvious and horns. Number five. This is this is music familiar to you. Where did you first hit? Yes, this is familiar to me. Le letter A. Yes, Satom and Jerry. Cartons. Letter B. The Rings. Letter C. Popay. Letter D. Little Einstein or Mr. Bean. Ang pangalawa kong natutunan niya. Naglaman o natutunan niya ang araw. Kung paano gamit ang tempo, dynamic, texture, at iba pa. Three things I found out. Number one. Ang isang 
ang isang oh, ang isa kong isa kong malaman ngayong araw ay gaan, gaano kagaling ang mga musikero noong panahon na yun number 2 2 2 and 2 interesting things ang gusto ang maganda ako sana gusto ko matutunan kung gusto ko maging katulad niya gusto ko matutunan yung mga ginagawa nila at yung pangalawa na gusto ko yung mga nagawa uh, na gusto ko yung mga nagawa nilang musika yun lang tapos the one question I still have uh, wala ko question
task 2. What is the tempo? A. Andante or slow. B. Allegro or moderately fast. And C. Also allegro. Moderately fast. And D. Moderato or moderately. Number 2. What dynamics were used? A. Meso forte. B. Forte. C. Piano. I mean, so or so be crescendo so then loud three what is the texture a homophonic b monophonic and c homophonic and also b homophonic number four describe the melody a the term trio refers to the contracting melody that appears between the two statements and B, fake rhythm, the rhythm soon explodes into prominence before shifting to a bold and busy frugal climax. Um, C, begins in media dropping the listener into the quick motion of the lower string. B, the melody line being accompanied by the homophonic texture and this things I found out number one tempo the space of the given piece or number two texture is how the tempo melody and harmony three meter it refers to the regularly recurring patterns and accents such as bars and beats. Two interesting things. The melody and number four. Number two is about the tempo. One question I still have. What is the dynamics? Hello everyone, I'm Cassie Denise de Guzman from G9 Masipag and these are my answers in learning task 2. showing my answers in learning task to guide questions. What is tempo? Letter A, andante. Letter B, adagio. Letter C, allegro. And letter D, allegro also. What dynamics were used? Letter A, mesoporte. Letter B, fortissimo. And letter C, porte. Letter D, fortissimo. What is the texture? Letter a, polyponic, letter B, homoponic, letter C, monoponic, and letter B, heteroponic. Describe the melody. Letter A and B, melody, has a particular pitch and radiation. Letter C, melody, is very relaxing. And letter D, sound, have a melody that cuts our ears to listen even though it is very loud. And last, is this music familiar to you? Where did you first hear it? Letter A, B, C. I didn't hear it before, so no. And letter D. Yes, I heard it before on TikTok. Next, the reflection. What are the three things that I found out? First, I found out that the common genre of the music of the classical period are concerta, opera, and sonata. I I also found out that there are two new genres, which is the symphony and the strings quartet. I found out that the different period of the classical music are Renaissance, Baroque, early music, and etc. The two interesting things are the most popular solo instrument of the classical music was the piano. Then, the classical period itself lasted approximately 1775 to 1825. One question I still have. 
who started or discovered the music of the classical period. The tempo of sonata is Allergo and Dante Rondo. Dynamics were used is loud, texture, completely homophonic. Melody. Melody as the classification of sonata that concept of this music is full of agonizing movements in which prosperously achieve musical composition. The melody is full of rhythmic composure that gives frame to term of sonata. The tempo of Ludwig van Beethoven. Ad Adagio molto, dynamics were used, soft texture, contrapuntal texture, melody. From the derived term of musical composition, the melody concerto is full of expedition of movements. The melody structure is composed of certain movements which is immaculately expressed the real purpose of concerto. The tempo of Mozart, molto, the dynamics were used so the texture mostly homophonic. Melody is the rule of lengthy musical composition in which its melody form is especially derived from the orchestra. As I listen to this music, I can allocate the terms and have them compared which result that they are symphony because of the movements that employs the characteristics of symphony. The tempo of excerpt Mozart, Allegro. Dynamics were used, loud, the texture, melody dominated homophony, melody. In this scenario, the music is full of opera elements in terms of its melody. Aside from the musical composition, the frame of this genre is full of scenery, which builds up an act of tape. Opera has the melody sequence that creates action, which is prosperously activated and well presented in the link provided. Three things that I found out. General classical music has its own something stylized and some music technique requirements. The most pleasant to hear this song of time to understand and know some of the basic theory of music. Number two, if there is the basis to listen to classical music really can improve their own artistic accomplishment and inner feeling. Good classical music as a literary classics to listen three consecutive months believe in your ability to understand and study efficiency or inner feelings and artistic accomplishment will raise a lot of space number three you can expand your mind quite a bit understanding form patient connection movement communication it develops your soul your ear and your mind two interesting things Classical music is inspired by jazz. Number two, classical music too can be improvised. The last question is, I have no other question. Thank you.
Mozart piano sa nota number 16. B. Lud Ludwig van Beethoven. C. Mozart Symphony number 40. D. Excerpt from Mozart. The tempo of A is Adante. B. Adiago Moito. C. Moito Allegro. D. Adiago. The dynamics of A lilting them in 6-8 followed by 6 variations in A major and A minor. B. FF to PP. C. PP very soap. D. FP to SF. And MF medium loud. 3. Texture of A is homophonic. B. Mostly imitative polyphony. C. Homophonic. D. Melody dominated homophony. Game 4. Melody of A. Hinueto. B. Sanota. C. Anacrosis. D. Major Overture. Oh, yeah.